Hello, everybody. It's a good Um, I uh, I thought this was very interesting. Um, I watched a video by uh, Peter Schiff. Uh, he's he's a mentor of mine because uh, he uh, had decided to take the same educational path, uh, such as I, and he's actually who inspired me to do so. Um, but this is not what this video is about. What this video is about uh, is in fact that uh, the powers to be right now are controlling the precious metal arena pretty heavy right now. Um, they're, uh, they're pushing this spring down so hard that when it snaps back this time, um, boy, it, uh, it could be, uh, it could push as easily into phase two for silver prices. Um, just for example here, when I'm looking at a five day chart of the U.S. dollar index, uh, at the beginning of Tuesday, we were around about 84.552. And now we're at 82.086 and silver actually has dropped. So, there's there always can be some profit taking but isn't that the last excuse that they used for us the last time precious metals dropped was because it was from profit taking from top profit taking uh, on corporate media that's what that was that what they were telling us uh, and um, I was also too anticipating that uh, the dollar index was going to drop through its uh, uh, 83 basis handle level, which it did, um, which is no surprise uh, to you that are following these type of markets. Um, but I just thought it was very interesting once again that uh, the dollar index today always will always measure the price of commodities. And I thought it was very interesting that the powers to be are hard at it once again. Because the dollar index now is the lowest point it's been in any recent history, uh, at least probably this year for sure. Um, because you had uh, European fears, uh, people uh, believing the euro was, you know, doomed. Things were going to get bad, so everyone started shifting their focus and getting into the U.S. dollar as a safe haven currency. But now what you have is you're starting to see that mentality change back to the euro and people are starting to go back to the euro thinking well they're going to actually take uh, government spending cuts austerity measures and you know other productive measures that are very uh, disheartening and, and distasteful for citizens and everyone alike yes but, uh, but nevertheless that's what's starting to take shape now the only thing I can't figure out at this point in time is how is it that if these were free markets and the US dollar is now at a 82.26 and it continues to drop like a rock this whole week you're telling me that silver is currently down 47 cents per ounce at 1786 and gold is down $19 today at 1189.40 uh, or are oh that's right corporate media is going to tell you that they're they're doing some uh, profit taking again today oh I, I see yeah I get it yeah I I, I got it I, that's something I overlooked um, I, I should have uh, I should have paid more attention to that you know uh, when I post these videos with metals dropping during days when they're supposed to increase in price because it's it's a, it's a traditional uh, inverse relationship. It, it normally has been during a normal market functioning time. Uh, whenever you see the price of the U.S. dollar drop, typically, and I'll say typically, there are profit taking times, there are expir exploration expiry times, and other influences that that make the price of metals uh, fall. Um, I heard someone say that uh, there's exploration that could be going on right now. Um, but nevertheless, if the U.S. dollar is dropping, um, everyone should know by now that uh, um, 
you know the the price of these monetary metals should also increase so uh, it shouldn't be any surprise at this point in time um, so uh, all this means is that it's just another buying opportunity because uh, we all know where price of metals are going um, and uh, so with that said um, I guess uh, that's all I'll be able to tell you at this point in time so nothing new I'm sure for a lot of you but uh, um, I just thought it was interesting if anything uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll show you what the sectors look like once again uh, let's see I just got to uh, get my camera view in here so I can see what I'm showing you and this is um, the chart for just today this is the chart for five day and obviously you can tell you know we we're at 84.552 and now at 82.086 and the psychological barrier was right around that point right there 83.3 to 82 and obviously we, we busted through that pretty well uh, but yet again class signs of suppressing the price so don't worry their, their time is coming I, I would tell you that um, their time is coming so um, and uh, they're uh, all I can say is uh, uh, the uh, Main Street influences are definitely, they definitely have a right direction in uh, the private sector. And I, I'm sure a lot of you, you know what I mean by these uh, private sector uh, forces to be. Um, they, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of pressure on them right now, I will tell you that. <laughs> But a shadow of a doubt, there's a lot of pressure on them. So, um, I don't know. I just wanted to, uh, if anything, make a record of this day again for myself. I had another video series like this a while back, which also indicated that. And now this should be more than enough proof to you that, in fact, these are days when they suppress the price. So, till next time, this is Economic Spike. Everyone take care.